These are my pickups for the last couple of months. So I'm going to start with the non-game related stuff. So firstly, like I said, I'm a big horror fan. So I picked up Scream 6. I watched this a couple days ago. I enjoyed it. I'm glad to see Hayden Penichair back because she's a hottie. But uh, yeah, if you like the Scream franchise, I'm pretty sure you liked it. I'm also a fan of Dragon Ball Z. This is Dragon Ball Super Broly. Haven't seen this movie before. I wanted it, but I never find it cheap enough. So this one I found for cheap enough. So added it to my collection. Dragon Ball Super is really good. Had to pick up this, obviously. The Super Mario Bros. movie. The Blu-ray. Saw this in theater. I enjoyed it. I watched all the extra scenes and stuff like that. It was really well made. Anyway, I enjoyed it. So going on to games I don't usually pick up because I don't really find them all that often. These are just casual games. They were $3 each. That's why I picked them up. They're complete. So Brain Age had the second one. I didn't have the first one. Fun little game like Sudokus and just brain teasers and stuff. This is for people who like crosswords. Crossword DS. <laughs> Yes, over a thousand word puzzles. It's kind of cool, I guess. So you can do play those type of games. Word search, anagrams, stuff like that. Like I said, casual games. And then Solitaire, the most casual of casual games. So there's almost unlimited play. So, like I said, picked this up because it was $3. Canadian, no tax which I'm surprised about. So going on to more, well, recent D games. The Monkey King The Legend Begins. I uploaded the full gameplay a couple weeks ago, I believe. This is the sequel, prequel to Cloud Master that was on the Sega Master System. Really easy, like, horizontal shooter. Especially when you get the power-up weapon that you can see in my video. Yeah, once you have that, you're pretty overpowered and it's very hard to lose. If you play this on easy, you could beat it in one man. If uh, you practice enough, you could beat it on normal with one man, I'm sure. I think it took me five men or something, but I enjoyed it. It was a cool little game. Picked up AEW Fight Forever. Wrestling game. I'm a wrestling fan. Haven't played it yet. But it has some cool wrestlers that you don't... Well, especially because they're only AEW people. That you never get to play as. Like MJF. And stuff like that. Also, Darby Allen, Adam Cole. Bye bye! Anyway, so, yeah. I heard it was good. This has, like, no mercy type controls. That's why I picked it up. This is technically... Technically on Game Pass, I have it on Game Pass, but I'd rather own the physical. I don't think I'll open this because I can play it on Game Pass, but yeah, I played a couple of matches. Pretty fun. It's repetitive. Well, it all depends on how good you get. You can power up uh, your characters and stuff like that. Surprise, Chop, Chop Top's not in, in this game. Maybe they couldn't get the rights. No idea. Uh, going on to the Switch games, because that's usually what I collect. I put them in alphabetical order, but they're, I purchased some months ago. Purchased some weeks ago. So, anyway, Blossom Tales 2. I was in Toronto for work, and uh, videogamesplus.ca, they have a store there. So I picked these up. At the time, this was their last copy, which I was happy to get while I was there. Now you can buy it online easily, but, but yeah, the first one was really good. If you like A Link to the Past, Zelda was really good. This one, I'm sure, is just as good, probably better. So, yeah, I was happy to pick that up. Had to pick up Dead Cells Return to Castlevania. Haven't played Dead Cells all that much, but the Castlevania... Like, uh, DLC is pretty cool, so you play as characters and you fight bosses from there, I believe. So that was cool. Disney's Illusion Island. Haven't played this yet. Sport player, like, couch co-op, I believe. So I gotta get a couple of my friends over to play this. 
but uh, yeah, look pretty good. Double Dragon Gaiden, Rise of the Dragons. Another multiplayer beat em up. I don't know how many you could play as. So, two players, co local co op. Sucks when it doesn't have like online co op, but whatever. So cool. I'm happy to pick that up. This was at the Video Games Plus store. They had one copy of it. It was still reasonably placed. Pli <laughs> reasonably priced if you don't know what this is it's originally a fmv game that was on the sega cd with cory haim uh is cory haim or cory feldman i always get the two n names messed up even though they're two different people uh i think it's cory haim anyway he passed away like a couple years ago early army he passed away also yeah. Anyway, it was, a, it was a pretty cool game. I don't know if they did the same treatment they did for the uh, Night Trap edition. But yeah, it's still cool to have that. Pick this up there too. Again, reasonably priced. It's best RMX. It's basically like uh, F-Zero slash Wipeout type vibes. It's supposed to be really fast and it works really well on the Switch. So I was happy to get the physical of that. Picked this up kind of recently at a GameStop. Grip, another cool racing game that I saw on the Metal Jesus channel. Just the way that it controls and like sticks to the to the wall and the tracks and stuff like that. Look cool. Hot Wheels Unleashed. I think this was a John Riggs video. But uh, yeah, it looked like a cool racing game. So I was, I heard it was good, but I didn't really see footage. I watched footage after I saw the video and I thought it was good. So for that price, I had to pick it up. Infernax, this was a game that was on Game Pass. Again, Video Game Plus, the store I went to, had it in stock. I already beat this on Game Pass, so I'm not gonna be opening this. It's gonna stay for my collection. But yeah, still cool game. Nuclear Blaze, picked this up at GameStop uh, a couple weeks ago. I don't know, I just, I, I have, I, firefighting games, most of the ones that I have, I think are really fun. There's a game on the Super Nintendo is really good, and there's another one that I don't own or else I'd be uploading gameplay of it. But yeah, this game, you can watch little videos, it's a short little game, but it'll look pretty fun, so happy to get that. Raiden 3. Mikado Mania. So this was originally on the uh, Xbox 360. So now I have all the ones on the Switch now. So I think this is a bullet hell shooter vertical. Not usually good at these, but I still wanted to get it. Down to the last two title milestones. Even though there's not that many well known games, there are some that look pretty interesting. Can't remember what it was called. Uh, well, Darius Twin Two, uh, Darius Two is pretty cool. But there was another one. Was it Gun Frontier? I can't remember. It looked interesting, so yeah, happy to pick that up. Even though you know, it doesn't have that many, and this one I just picked up because I'm a horror fan and it was like cheap enough. So I think this is kind of like a twin stick shooter. I think, from what I saw anyway. Don't know if it's any good. Probably not, but I'm a fan of the movie also, so I had to pick this up. So, yeah. Um, I believe that is it. Oh, yeah, I picked up this other one movie, but it's all, like, really bad shark movies. So, I only picked this up because I'm a fan of shark movies, even though look how crap that looks. These are probably going to be maybe so bad they're good. Or they're just going to be really bad. Anyway, I picked that up because it was dirt cheap. Anyway, uh, that is all I believe. Yeah, so uh, till next time. That'll do, pig. That'll do.